Believe it or not, I've actually been bit three times. <laughs> Americans love dogs. As of 2015, there were over 70 million dogs in the US alone. 36% of American households owning at least one dog. But not everyone is crazy for canines. Meet these guys, Anthony, Marilyn, and Alexia. I'm just not comfortable around bigger dogs. I just feel like they just, they just don't like me, so you know what, I don't like them back. When I see a big dog, I get petrified. The first thing, I can hear my heartbeat going through my ears. I'm deathly afraid of dogs. These guys all have symptoms of cynophobia, which is the morbid fear of dogs. But their fear comes from a traumatic experience. I had a couple of encounters where I've been, I've been bit. It hurts more than you think. I was bit by a dog at somebody's house that I knew. When I was a baby, I was bit, and you can see the little mark on my forehead. They aren't alone. Approximately four and a half million people are bitten by dogs each year. <laughs> These guys told us they're ready to face that fear. We took them to Sit Mean Sit in Ocean County, New Jersey to train with this guy. My name is Bob Campanile. I'm the owner and head trainer of Sit Mean Sit Dog Training here in Ocean County, New Jersey. I'm also a retired police canine officer. I can't really read them. I don't understand if they're feeling playful, if they're feeling angry. My gut reaction when a dog gets aggressive is to run, run for your damn life. The dog's ears are pinned back. The dog is thinking about making a decision, if that's the case. The fur along the dog's back starts to stand up. The dog yawns and shows their teeth. The whites of the dog's eyes might become a little more visible. And last, the dog begins making intense direct eye contact with you. That's why would, you would run, bro. This is very human, actually. Yeah. I know, right? It's very, it's, it's right. very similar, yeah. 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 Now, what do you do if you are attacked? Stay calm and try as much as possible not to show any fear or anxiety. Don't run. Running away from a dog can awaken its predator-prey instinct. Anything that you have on you that is not your actual body, try to get the dog to bite down on that instead of you. Always make sure your face, throat, and chest are protected. A bite to the forearm or shin is gonna be your best bet. The bite to any of those other areas, including your thigh, could be potentially fatal. If possible, you can try to put a strong stick or rock between the dog's teeth. If you are bitten, resist the urge to pull your arm away. It can tear your flesh and also aggravate the dog and make them more aggressive towards you. Looks like Cosmo's getting ready. My fight or flight response is already triggering. I, I mean, I, I don't really know what to feel. My hands are sweating. My heart is beating through my ears. Adrenaline's rushing already. I'll be the guinea pig and go be the first one, unless one of you guys wants to do it. What a man. I would love to watch you do it. Let's go. How does my hair look? No? Heavier, is that, it's difficult to move in. Oh, hey. This is just, this thing is intense, it's heavy. Like real talk, I'm nervous. I don't care if I had a tank on me. I don't want to get bit by that dog. I just don't want to get knocked down because I'm small enough. All right, guys, so you just saw me go through that thing. It's it's a little intense, I'm not going to lie. You guys ready to do this? I have to go, man. I, I just, I just want to get over with it. It looks strong as hell. He's strong. It doesn't hurt, but you're going to feel it. You're ready to do this. So let's get suited up, bro. You ready? Yeah. Yeah? Excited. I'm excited. I'm excited and I'm scared, but life is about overcoming. You got this. Yeah. Yes, sir. About to be attacked by a dog. The most nerve wracking moment is just when you see it start charging. Oh! What the heck? You see it coming at you, and all you see is pure just desire in its eyes, and you know that you're its prime target. Like right there, like the moment's only about you and the dog. Like your whole life doesn't matter, nothing matters. <laughs> I was thinking about it so much that I went the wrong way. I can't describe it, just frozen. It's much stronger than getting like kind of hit by a person. <sighs> I just want to get it done so I can touch him yeah, and not be petrified. So you can pet him and not be afraid of him. Yeah. I 
have to leave. Yeah, right. I can't. Yeah, yeah, right. I have to leave the building. I can't even watch this. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't even watch this. I have to leave. Okay. Yeah, I have to leave. I can't watch this. <gasps> Jesus Christ. So Marilyn is feeling pretty stressed and pretty tense, not sure that she's actually going to be able to go through with it. But no matter what, the fact that she's here facing the fear is such a good first step. Even if she doesn't go through the full bite experience, as long as she leaves feeling a little bit more comfortable after having taken that first step, you've done a good thing. that coach you can feel him but as soon as he bit I just knew that he wasn't he wasn't flailing me so I guess that was a fear of mine that I had but I feel good I actually feel a lot better about it than I did 20 minutes ago this is a good first step but I just can't do it <sighs> petting it maybe I'll try that hey. yeah you pet him first hey, is he a good boy Hey oh, good boy. There you go. Hey. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually a lot of fun, actually. Did I still look cute? And just by watching other people go through it, I got something from it. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hey, he oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>